Okay, in this particular video we're going to be looking at expanding and simplifying this particular double bracketed turns, but this time we're going to use the grid method in order to do that. Now this isn't normally uh, the kind of video I would normally do because it's not directed within the GCSE material, but I know some people use the grid method for expanding and simplifying these types of terms, therefore I just thought I'd post a quick video about it. Okay, it's relatively straightforward, all it is is that you've got this grid and um, when you're doing things like long multiplication they call it partitioning, well it's exactly Exactly the same thing in that we've got x plus 5 here so I'm going to put an x in here and a plus 5 in here it's kind of important that you make sure that you put in the signs of the numbers that you're dealing with because otherwise it might get a little bit uh, confusing okay so down the side here I put x and minus 1 which is this x and this minus 1 on the right hand side and x and then plus five. And then it's really just a case of multiplying through. So what we're saying is at the junction of the x and the x here, this is gonna be x squared. Okay, and that's actually going to be my first term, which is x squared. My next one is I've got x times plus five. Well, that's gonna be plus five x. Okay. Uh, this third one here is going to be minus 1 times x is minus 1x. And then finally, I've got minus 1 times plus 5. Well, minus times a plus is a minus. So 5 times 1 is minus 5. And then if I write all these terms out, then I get x squared, as I've written it, plus 5x minus 1x and then minus 5 at the end. And then if I gather those like terms together, in other words what I do is I put the similar terms all together, I end up with x squared on its own which is fine and I've got plus 5x minus 1x. Well plus 5 minus 1 is going to be plus 4x and then I've got minus five at the end. And that would be the end of that particular question. I hope that's been useful for you. Grid method does work very well. I do see students using it, absolutely no issue at all. But for the rest of this playlist, I'm gonna be using the crab claw method, mainly because when you get towards the higher end and the, the more challenging questions, then grid method can get a little bit complicated. Although I'm sure people do it very, very well. I hope that's okay. Please do add a comment below and I'll always look forward to, I'll always reply to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.